Hello Virgo and welcome to your June 2018 tarot readings with me. Dear Virgo, if you are new to my channel, I suggest you please do subscribe so that you are notified every time I release a new video. So my dear Virgo, let's get started for a very happening month for you this June. So it begins with prudence. It begins with a positive energy of propelling you towards success. It tells you, dear Virgo, the first week is going to get some signs for the coming seven months. So for the coming seven months, like whatever you are starting at this point of time, the coming seven months are going to take this to fruition. So if you're starting a new project, if you're starting a new job, um, if you're starting some new venture, uh, something new, whatever you start at this point of time in the first week of June, dear Virgo, it is going to bear very good fruits in the future. So be focused on what you want to start in the first week. All in all, you are entering into a period of chance, a period of positive vibes, my dear Virgo. And um, you have been doubting a lot of things lately. You have been uh, misunderstanding a lot of things lately. So my dear Virgo, I would like to tell you that the time has come wherein you have to just remove all the doubts about yourself or about others. You have been doubting the capacity of others as well as yourselves. So now you have to just, you know, wipe out that doubt game, whatever is taking place in your head. And now you have to believe in yourself and believe that others have been there also to help you and to channelize your energies in the positive direction. So if you've had a tiff, if you have had um, doubts regarding capacities of others who were trying to help you, then my dear Virgo, I would like to tell you to go own up your mistakes and go and say sorry to them because somewhere I feel some Virgos have created a kind of a karma for themselves uh, and now you need to nullify that karma my dear Virgo so what you have to do at this point of time is if you were wrong if you have done wrong to somebody please go and say sorry to them if you have um, knowingly or unknowingly hurt someone or trying to um, you know harm them or if somebody has harmed you it's both ways there is going to be a kind of a healing process required over here my dear Virgo. So please take care of that because you are going to enter a period of chance in the first week of June wherein you have to be Mr. and Miss or Mrs. Clean in order to get these positive things in your or rather in your life I would say. So for that you need to really you know forgive forget whatever it takes uh, to make you a better person because when the universe gives you gifts it's going to give gifts to those who are uh, clean and Virgos need to be clean uh, inside of them and this is why they are born under this sign of Virgo so you need to be you know you need to wipe off something inside of you in order to absorb something positive because if there is something negative inside these energies are not going to work for you so please wipe out this negativity whatever it must have been inside of you regarding others or um, there has been some kind of argument with someone go and own up the mistakes say sorry and wish them good luck and go ahead in your life because you are entering a very important period and this is the first week the first week also as we see in the card there are the pictures of the owls and the owls are no one but these are the wise birds so what is the message of this card for you is that you need to be wise wisdom not folly wisdom has to be there at this point of time because we cannot solve problems in our lives by creating more and more problems or by having the same mindset that created them so now your perspective towards things have to change you have to be more optimistic positive towards things my dear Virgos and then with this positive energy of constructing of entering into this period of chance be it personally be it professionally regarding your health also you are going to the second week so I really tell you why I am emphasizing for the first week because 
sometimes what happens is that we are not aware no matter what our sign is but as you are getting this card so we are not aware that there are some loose ends somewhere so you have to you know really either tie them up or cut them off so you need to do that my dear Virgo and this is why this is the basis because on this you are going to construct a lot of things so you don't want to start on things that um, that have been uh, a bit negative right so you know what I'm saying if it is in your personal life it's in your professional life please take care what you are uh, speaking about or what you are writing about just be very very careful about that if you are on the wrong path then this first week is going to build up seven months of uh, negative energies for you and you don't want that so you know clean be clean uh, be forgiving be compassionate and love every being okay and know that everyone is not perfect like you want them to be because even you are not perfect no one is perfect if we were perfect we would be gods we are not okay so that uh, Virgos need to take care of in the first week because you have to create this positive chain now all right and now you go to the second week with this wonderful positive transformative energy and what is the second week about the second week is about taking your time off you're being very very um, introspective my dear Virgos you are um, you want to be left alone some of you would prefer solitude some of you are going with your family on the seaside or near water bodies because water body is going to calm you the first week uh, the first week of June has been very um, very rigorous very dynamic very cleaning kind of a uh, week so now the second week is about taking a holiday taking a break some of you will almost be a bit alone will try to think about what things have happened in their life lately and how they have reacted to those things and some of you might just want to take a break in order to cool down for your health uh, for your well-being you would like to just take a break and feel nice inside of you and this is what you're doing in the second week I also see some of the Virgos are so much in need of peace and calm inside of them many Virgos are going to be traveling in the second week traveling to far off destinations traveling with family traveling for an event traveling for some conference traveling for work traveling to meet somebody who is a potential partner or whom they have been dating online so all these kind of travel associated connections are seen for you dear Virgo in the second week and yes the need of peace the need of calm you are no more in any competition with anyone dear Virgo in the second week you are just needing this so much well-deserved break that you need and you are feeling uh, very peaceful inside because you are feeling satisfied with what you're doing and some of you are almost pondering over things introspecting over things as to what to do in order to make my life much better how can I make my life better how can I be more happy this is what is seen for you in the second week dear Virgo so use this energy to resource to recharge and to enjoy with your loved ones to enjoy the solitude if you are taking a break alone and to um, I would almost tell you write uh, write down your thoughts because you'll write very well my dear Virgo so write down those thoughts and uh, make uh, your feelings flow on the paper and uh, every day keep a diary this is the best thing for Virgos that they can do in order to remove this uh, unwanted hidden tensions inside of them just write write down whatever you feel on a piece of paper or uh, keep a diary and it will be once in a while just go through those pages and see how much your evolution is and what it is all about right because there you will find your answers to my dear Virgo and then we go to the third week and the third week is a wonderful week why because you're surrounded by love you're surrounded by harmony and whatever the obstacles have been there so far on your path are just disappearing 
they are disappearing, my dear Virgo. And um, Virgos should feel very lucky because they are feeling loved, they are feeling needed and they are giving love and they are giving this attention to people in a positive way. This is the new transform Virgo. It's very beautiful energy, my dear Virgo. You are going to, if you're a single Virgo, you are going to make a very significant contact with someone, be it at workplace, be it in a gathering, an event where there are a lot of people, you will meet someone outside uh, your friend circle or in the workplace you suddenly bump into someone and they have something that you might like very much dear Virgo so this is for the third week it's all about affection tenderness tender moments uh, being uh, pampered by your family I would almost say that being pampered by your family feeling really nice and calm inside of them and feeling like a baby being taken care of by everyone or you make someone feel like a baby by taking care of them and if you're a um, parent you are going to be very much happy with your children because you will feel this love blooming this bond strengthening between you and your children dear Virgo in the third week and whatever uh, obstacles have been there on your path regarding your personal uh, problems or your professional problems, even your health problems, uh, dear Virgo, these are seen uh, going away. And uh, it's as if the sun shines on things. So this is how the love is going to be the answer for everything in the third week. So use this power of love, use this. Uh, the best weapon is love, I feel. <laughs> and uh, use it. Uh, because that is the only thing that can just, you know, make your life beautiful once again. So do it for the third week, uh, my dear Virgo. Because Not just third week. <laughs> that shouldn't be restrictive. That should be forever. Love is eternal, right? So in the third week, however, as we have the cards and energies about love, <laughs> so my emphasis will be on the third week uh, that uh, give and share your love with all around you and uh, feel blessed. This is what uh, it is going to be, feel like. You're gonna feel blessed at this point of time, my dear Virgo. And uh, rest of the things I can say is that success is assured for you in the third week as far as your sentimental life is concerned and your professional life is concerned. Somehow I also see that uh, Whatever the problems have been regarding your health, you're going to find some kind of parallel, uh, parallel ways of treating it and uh, maybe energy healings or, um, or uh, naturopathy or, you know, uh, reflexology or things like that. So these kind of things are uh, going to interest you at this point of time also. So the third week is all about enjoying the people the blessing of being human and being surrounded by people who love you and who need you. You will feel it, my dear Virgo. And then we go to the fourth week. And what is the fourth week about? The fourth week is about divine blessings coming upon you, my dear Virgo. The, the fourth week is about um, the divine mother's blessings. So even if you have some kind of problems that arise in the fourth week you have to know that you are protected and you're protected by a divine force and that is up there is protecting you your mother might need more of your time in the fourth week you might have a heart to heart talk with your mother if she's on this earth uh, you will have a heart to heart talk with her regarding certain things in your life and uh, there will be a very, uh, I feel there will be a very strong bond between you and your mother in the fourth week. And rest assured, I feel that you are protected in whatever you are doing in the fourth week. That doesn't mean you go and do anything. <laughs> when I say, oh, protected, oh, let's go. <laughs> let's jump from this or jump from that. No, not like that. Okay. Whatever calculate whatever risk you take please take calculated risks i would say don't you know just because you are going to be protected you feel that oh she said there's going to be protected because sometimes it happens oh but you said that uh, but 
it, these are the energies but how you use it I mean you know <laughs> you have to know how you have to use it because I have heard of people who say that oh uh, oh she said you'll be protected so I went and you know without looking left or right I crossed the road no not that way okay you have to be calculated in your risk taking also so whatever you are doing whichever maybe some of the Virgos are starting a new job a new venture and they are a bit you know wondering how they will manage it so be assured my dear Virgo that you are going to be protected because you have a divine protection upon you uh, and as far as your inner state is concerned there is going to be a spiritual nourishment that is going to come to you and this is coming from the universe once again but you have to heal things inside of you I don't know why I'm just feeling this this healing is the word that is coming inside of me to tell you dear Virgos there is some kind of healing process healings are required this is what I feel some kind of healing is needed for you uh, be it health wise be it uh, personal relationship wise or in your job place also so in the fourth week however the universe is sending you this healing and you have to accept it don't reject it please and try to you know use it in order to really get heal inside of you because once your inner self is healed your spiritual self is healed then only everything becomes better outside otherwise it's very easy when we are not fine inside we don't find anyone good outside also so the universe is asking you at this point of time with these energies of the cards dear Virgo is that self-healing is required and the divine blessings are upon you the divine is sending you energies and are you receptive enough are you receptive enough in the fourth week in order to take them and heal something that needs a real healing like uproot something which is no more good in your life now you have the motherly blessings upon you so why worry take this opportunity and make the most of it because you are blocked only because of yourself you are your only self-limiting factor there's no one who's blocking you no one can block you even if people try to do no matter what they cannot block you it is between you and you always the fight is always inside not with others there's no point in fighting with others so now is the time you take charge of your life you do this inner healing please and heal yourself because the divine blessings are upon you in the fourth week and they are protecting you just like a mother protects a child similarly just like a father protects his child similarly you are protected and you are whatever changes you are trying to make under this protection you are going to make them so make them and make your life, life successful my dear Virgo because this month I see very positive energies for you very progressive energies for you how you deal with them is whole soul upon you how do you do that how do you manage it it's just you who can do that I can just give you the energies later on I cannot work it up for you we all have to bear our own cross right and we all have to uh, pat our backs also when we do good and nobody says you have done a good job you have to pat your own back you don't have to you know wait for any uh, how do you say yeah we are humans we wait for appreciation from others when we do a good job but at the same time when people don't try to see it well you know you have done something good so do it and when you know you have done something bad also you have to punish yourself Rather, you have to correct yourself, punish in the sense, correct yourself. So all in all, a very transformative, a very progressive and successful month for you, dear Virgos. So take good care of yourself, do this healing inside of you and um, emerge out stronger, emerge out successful and share it with those who might be less fortunate than you. Yeah, And no more pinpointing, my dear Virgos. That has to be worked on now because this is where the healing healing word comes up yes 
So no more pinpointing, just you have to know that everybody cannot be perfect, nor you, yes? No one is perfect and I am no one. <laughs> this shouldn't be the motto, okay? Yes, no one is. I mean, we all are here to evolve on this earth and you need to know that everyone is doing their best in order to evolve, my dear Virgos. So help yourself and help others also, my dear Virgo. So thank you very much for listening to this tarot reading for the month of June. And uh, I wish you all the best. Make the most of it and enjoy. Enjoy, that's the word for you. And heal yourself, okay? And heal others also with that lovely smile of yours and with your um, genuine interest in them. All right, my dear Virgos. So please do like, share, comment. And I'm going to see you with the message of the universe to see how these energies are going to work out for you and what is needed to do that. So thank you and see you in the month of July. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.